Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete and this is the series where we try to complete The Sims 3. Now, in the last episode, the founder of our family, Pete, tragically passed away after 36 episodes, so we begin this one with only three members in our household. And the first of those awake is a heartbroken Ahisha. <laughs> She will grab breakfast now, some of the waffles we still have left over, and then we can switch over to her youngest son Patrick, who's also still mourning the loss of his father. He will also grab something to eat, in this case though some spaghetti. And then, just a few minutes before the arrival of his carpool, we have Paul awake. And could you please stop making the bed and get into the shower? Oh, lovely. Ayesha has already finished breakfast and will now enter the shower. This is where I wanted Paul to go though, because his carpool is already waiting and he's smelling horribly. Well, in that case, let's have him just brush his teeth while Ayesha is still in the bathroom. Then Paul can finally take a shower himself. Ayesha can teleport off to work. And a few minutes later, Paul can do the same. With Patrick, we have just finished the remaining 9% of his homework. That got interrupted when Pete died in the last episode. And with that completed, we can also send him off to school. Right before he beams off, we get the Oh My Ghost opportunity with Ayesha. And that is an interesting one indeed. Now, this would allow us to bring back Pete as a ghost. A fully playable one at that. And of course, we will take that. But please let me know in the comments below if you want to see that happen. And then we don't really have anything else to do but to skip ahead to the end of the workday for Paul, which is at 12pm already. No promotion in sight for him just yet, his mood and also his story and review rating is not where it should be. And today and over the course of the upcoming weekend, we plan to fix the latter one. And we can do so by sending Paul over to the gym, because there's always people there, and have him chat up the next best person in sight. We learn a few things about Rhonda and also improve our relationship, in large parts also thanks to the schmooze trait that Paul possesses. Doing these interviews is also a nice way to maybe find someone who's suitable for marriage, but of course that's not a priority right now. For the moment, let's get started with the interview and jump ahead to the end of the school and work days for Patrick and the Heesha. Patrick is still a solid A grader, but not on honor roll just yet. We should be able to do that next week. For today, however, we will continue to work on his skills and in particular on one that has been neglected a bit so far. And that is why we sent Patrick over to the library to read a book on gardening. Raising the gardening skill without going completely overboard with plants is a bit slow and thanks to our automated sprinkler at home we also miss out on experience by watering the plants. So let's just do this the old fashioned way and pick up a good book. In the meantime, Paul has finished his interview and he will now run down the street to meet his next target. Me up, sir. Ah, chill up. And if you're wondering what Ahisha has been up to after work, well, it's the usual, she's collecting again. And back over with Paul, not only does his interview partner Christy love the outdoors, but she's also athletic. So far so good, but we discover that she's married to Elliot. I think we should keep her in mind nonetheless. For now though, let's get to it and also fulfill a wish for Paul and begin the interview. Meanwhile, Patrick has already made it back home, he is now on level 1 in the gardening skill. Still ways to go, but at least we have unlocked the skill journal. We will now have him fulfill one of his wishes and prepare a meal. Wonderful. Yeah, please, you can also eat that. And then we can switch over to Paul, who has finished his second interview and is now taking a well-deserved shower. Lunch and shower are both completed now. Patrick will fulfill himself one more wish and complete his homework, while Paul can finish the painting we started in the last episode. Then, with no more rocks and gems in Sunset Valley to collect, Ahisha returns home, and she will now begin to work from home. For Paul, that's enough painting for today. Our priority now is to turn both interviews into stories, so let's get him started on that. In the meantime, Ahisha is becoming simply too stressed to work, so um, how about we switch things up with some computer games for her? Stress also becomes a problem for Patrick, who puts away his homework shortly before he would have completed it. Well, let's calm his nerves with a good round of fishing right here at home. 
A short while later, Ahisha has raised her fun bar enough so that we can switch her back to working from home. And then Paul wraps up the first of two stories for today. His fun bar is low but manageable for now, so let's get working on the second one right away. Outside, by our own private lake, Patrick's mood has calmed, but he's also getting pretty tired. So let's send him off to bed and while he goes there, Paul finishes another story. He will quickly grab a bite to eat and then also go to sleep. And with everyone about to go to bed, I think it's a good time to tell Ayesha to stop working now. Well, we are approaching the 500,000 simoleon mark, but let's also send her off to her well-deserved rest now. Paul can then quickly do the dishes, go to bed and we can skip ahead to the next morning. Alright, first one awake is a pretty smelly Patrick, so the first order of business on this lovely Saturday is to take a shower. Then Ahisha gets up, gets dressed and guess what, we will spend the day collecting with her. With Patrick then, we still haven't completed the homework from yesterday and that blocks the fulfillment of another wish, so let's get on to that right now. Then we can watch Paul get up and make the bed. Patrick gets 250 lifetime happiness points for finishing his homework and he will now grab breakfast while Paul once again starts to work on his painting. With breakfast and a subsequent cleanup taken care of, Patrick will now go outside to see after his plans. And that is already the last remaining lettuce plant harvested. Patrick can now quickly grab the mail, just as we receive another note of success. Paul has finished his sixth brilliant painting, and that completes the proficient painter skill challenge, the second of three available in the painting skill. This now increases his chances to paint both brilliant and masterpiece paintings, and we also only need a few more masterpiece paintings to unlock the master painter challenge, which would then effectively mean that we have completed the painting skill. While Patrick now grabs something to eat, we can sell the diamond we received in the mail, then we can also hang Paul's painting certificate up here on the wall, and choose a name for the article that that Paul is now going to start. Articles are a unique type of book only available to those in the journalist career. They are very quick to write, I believe they are the shortest book available and we actually also need one for an opportunity we still have with Paul, so writing one here is a good idea. In the meantime, Patrick will work on fulfilling another wish of his, this time by preparing an autumn salad. And that's it, 450 lifetime happiness points for that. We can now once again send him off to the library and then switch back over to Paul. With him, we will grab the complimentary entertainment lifetime reward. This will give us access to all shows at the theater for free. So in the next step, we can beam ourselves over there. And then choose a movie to watch and later write a review about. Meanwhile, Patrick has made it over to the library, where the plan is to raise both his cooking and his gardening skill by one point. And just to keep tabs on her, Ayesha is of course still collecting. Alright, the movie has finished, we can see that Paul's fun bar has reached the maximum as well, and we now have the ability to write a short review about the movie. And thanks to the lifetime reward we just grabbed, all of that completely for free. Back at home, Paul will grab something to eat now and we can sell the painting that he just finished. Then over at the library, Patrick improves his cooking skill to level 5, which unlocks to surprise one of the most versatile recipes in the game. Up next, he will read up on the gardening skill again. A quick jump back over to the home lot, Ayesha has emptied Sunset Valley of gems and rocks again, so she is now once again working from home, while Paul has begun to write an article. And that is another skill point in gardening for Patrick, he now has the ability to weed his plants, and that also gives us experience towards the gardening skill, so it's a nice way to raise that up further. With his social bar in the red, we will also have him stay at the library to chat with one of the random persons there, just as long as it takes to get rid of the negative moodlet. Jumping ahead a bit, Patrick has made it back home with his social bar looking decent again, and he is now once again busy with fishing. Shortly after, his brother Paul finishes the article, and it seems to be of high quality, so let's now take that, drop it off at the bookstore and complete the opportunity. Lurba Lou? 
Back at home, Akisha is once again getting stressed, so let's have her stop working, and with a few more hours in the evening to spend, yeah, I think one more round of collecting can't hurt. Back over at the bookstore, we get 1,250 simoleons for our article. That's almost 10 times the sum we get as a weekly payment for it. And back at home, Paul can now finally begin his review of the movie he just watched. In the meantime, our young fisherman is getting a bit hungry, and I also don't see him reach another level of the fishing skill today, so let's have him stop that and cook stew surprise for the first time. Paul then finishes the review, a positive one of course, and well, let's have him start another article. Patrick then finishes his stew surprise, and we can also promise him the wish to improve his cooking skill. For today, however, the only two things he will do is clean up and then head to bed. A quick jump over to Paul, who can now stop writing, because Ahisha has made it home. And I want to give the whole portrait thing another go. The last two turned out pretty bad, and I fear that Ahisha will join the fate of her husband sooner or later, and before that I'd like to have a nice one. Alright, that will do. Ahisha is now no longer needed for the painting process and can therefore also head off to bed. And since we only need her to start the painting but not to finish it, we can do that another time and send Paul off to sleep as well, which also marks a nice point to make a cut here. Once again, feel free to let me know in the comments what you think about the Oh My Ghost opportunity. Should we bring Pete back as a ghost? Or should we just accept his fate? I'm looking forward to your opinions. For now, however, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.